Hello YouTube, it's Moody Gamer, and I have a cold, but that's not the main reason I made this video. Despite my voice being rather sore and the fact that I still have about two more request drawings to work on from contest winners, I decided that I wanted to show you guys around Video Gamer Studios. Quotation marks around the studios. Video Gamer Room Tour, yeah! So first we're going to start with my table, desk thing, in which I have three sketchbooks placed on it. This is the one you guys are coming to know as the draw card, draw card sketchbook. This one, I don't even know what this is from. But this one is going to be the book that I use after the current How to Draw Video Game Characters book. Because there's only seven more drawings in this guy. But we don't know what that is. So. Sliding glass doors are actually an interdimensional portal to my closet. Let me show you what I mean. Ta -da! Many of you are probably thinking, oh my gosh, he just changed shirts in like 0.3 seconds. Well, as you can see, space and time do not exist within that closet. And over here, this is Tarawak. I've actually got uh, like a billion drawings for the characters and whatnot. And then here's where I actually keep the story of Tarawak. We have one, two, three, four composition notebooks full. This is all my own original story, and it probably took me a year to two years to write, but it's not really close to being done because I still have to revise it and then type it on the computer. Now we move down here to my desktop, my literal desktop, and my real not-so-literal desktop. Which one's real? Here are the three things that I use to record my videos usually. This was the first camera I actually ever used. This was what I used for about the first 40 how to draw video game characters drawings. I use this guy, the JVC Pixio, for about three how to draw video game characters videos, but I use it as a vlog cam whenever I go and play someplace with the band I'm in. And this here is my audio recorder, which records amazing audio. This is what I use for the how to draw audio because it sounds amazing. So put that back. I'll show you again just to prove it. See, I. Told you. Wait, what? What? And that's pretty much it. I'm picky about my video game systems. Oh yeah, this is where I keep my brother. Ugh. I haven't gotten him out since How to Draw Flying Pikachu. I missed a lot of school, you know. Yeah, well that's okay. I'm pretty sure you didn't really miss it. <laughs> get, get, get down on the ground! Hey guys, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, my brother wasn't actually stuck under the bed for that long. And this is my other brother, whom you guys have not actually met before. And now he recedes back into the darkness of the hallway. And here's something that I hinted to earlier, that I didn't really elaborate on, but I play bass guitar in a band called The Lasting Hope. And here is my bass guitar. And just between you and me and about the other 2,000 people that are going to see this video, I might actually start a bass guitar tutorial series, possibly going over bass guitar stuff. But I don't know if anybody would watch it. Would you watch it? So thank you guys for stopping by. And as you guys can see, I actually have a lot of hobbies and a lot of things I do around here. And you know what? I'm gonna say something weird. I kind of like school. You know why? Because all these hobbies that I do and all the artwork that I make and even school allows me to experience and try new things that I probably would never get to do on my own. Art is an excellent way of being creative and expressing yourself and also as you keep getting better and better, you'll see that you improve over the course of however long that you work on your artwork. And to me, that's one of the greatest things about art, is seeing how much you improve over the years. Bass guitar, piano, normal guitar, mandolin, violin. Music is also a great way of expressing yourself and sharing your thoughts and feelings with other people. Even your English class, guys. This is a very big book, by the way. School, to me, is a chance to get out there, learn something new, try something new, and maybe figure out what you actually want to do after you get out of school. Even though you might not like your math class at all, or you get really bored during study hall, even if you don't like reading whatsoever. And really, guys, school is a chance for you to learn something new, for you to meet new people, and for you to just experience life. So next time that you guys think about school, try thinking about it as an opportunity and see how your attitude changes towards it. So in all that you do, if you keep a positive attitude and you try your hardest, there isn't anything you can't do. 
So thank you guys for watching this video if you watched it till this point. And until next time, keep on drawing, or playing music, or going to school. Whatever it is that you do, keep on doing it. Goodbye.